multiply decimals. Let's use this model to find the missing number. So this is a really cool idea. It's a visual representation of a decimal. And the idea is each of these is a tenth. Right? One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, ten tenths. And the same horizontally. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, ten tenths. So when you take three tenths, you get these. One, two, three. And when you get four tenths, you get these. One, two, three three, four. And when you multiply them together, you get this intersection here. It's kind of like 30% of 40%, right? So it's, it's, it's in both, right? If I take 30% of this 40% here, I'll get this section. But that's 12, right? 4, 8, 12 out of 100. or 0.12. In other words, look at the intersection of the blue and yellow, count the cells, and that's how many out of 100 you have. So here you have 12 out of 100, so that's 0.12. Of course you can just multiply it out and get 0.12, but the point is to connect it to a visual, hopefully to make the concept more fun and interesting and robust in your head. So you can apply to other situations than just your math homework. Okay, so 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 3 yellow, 6 blue, intersect in 18 of these blue yellows, 18 out of 100 in all, so 0.18. Here we go, 3 purples, 8 Turquoise. Turquoise. I don't know how to say that word. This gives you 24 cells out of 100. So it's 0.24, right? It's a way of saying, okay, I know it's 24 ish, but why is it 0.24? Well, it's 24 out of 100. Okay, well, this is half of 0.6, so it's probably 0.3, but let's work it out. We've got 0.5, 0 0.6, right? So there'll be 30 of these little cells out of 100. So that's like 0 0.30, but we don't need to write zeros. We could just write 0 0.3. 0 0.3. Okay, how about this? Well, we get the idea. 3 times 2 is 6. It's not 6 out of 10. It's 6 out of 100. So that's not 0.6. It's 0 0.06. Okay, this is backwards. So what do you have to multiply by 2 to get 6 little cells out of 100? Well, by 0.3, you have to multiply 0.2. So you have to multiply 0.2 by 0.3 to get 0.06, to get 6 cells out of 100. Okay, what do you have to multiply by 0.4 to get 0.2? Well, let's think this through. This is a good question, right? Because 0.2 is 20 little cells out of 100. So 4 times what? Well, this is 0.5, right? You need 20 little cells. So you do 0.5. OK, I think you guys get the hang of it. You could also just count the fact that there are 7 here, 7 here. How many do there need to be here to make there be 42 little cells? Six little rows, right? So we need 0.6 there. Oh, 
Oh, this one looks interesting. 0.5 times what? Of, what's this to give us 25? Well, we need five rows here, five columns, but the whole thing is one, so it's 0.5. And 0.8 times what? So there are eight of these, 0 0.8, eight out of 10 rows, times how many columns? Five out of 10 columns, right? One, two, three, four, five. We could see 0.5, we can count them. And that'll give us 40 out of 100, right? Eight times five is 40. So it should be 0 0.5. All right. I hope that was interesting to you. If, you. if you're struggling with multiplying decimals, I wouldn't start with this. I would start with the just rote computation and practice. And then if you just wanna to try to understand it and remember it better, then you can look, look at these pictures. All right, guys, have a great one. I'll see you soon.